unbelievable week in the world of modular. Obviously, I'm not talking about Super Booth, you nerds. Modular Synth finally made it onto Eurovision. Don't know how many of you guys in the Modular Synth community follow Eurovision, which is um, basically the world's greatest uh, Europop competition. If you're English, this mostly means once in a year you tune in to be given zero points by the rest of Europe because we've normally done something to piss them off like invading Iraq or leaving the European Union. But this year I tuned in and what did I see? Modular synth. Fuck yeah. I mean, our scene has now made it into the world of Europop. What a time to be alive, guys. What a fucking time to be alive. So I've had a few questions recently about how I do vocal chops within Modular. I know that's something a lot of you have been asking about for a while, going right back to some of the first videos. Well, I just wanted to talk through one of the ways that I would approach that using the Squid Salon Pull and the Beat Step Pro. That said, you could definitely use any of these techniques in Ableton or with another modular sampler or with another hardware sampler. So don't feel that this video is not gonna be any good to you if you don't have the Squid Salon Pool. That said, Squid Salon Pool's great and if you're thinking about getting one, I would get one. Hey guys, so we've got a little bit sort of far along with this beat. Let me just sort of give you an update of where it's at at the moment and then we'll dig a little bit into some of these like ways that I would cut vocals to sort of make a top line on this. So here's what we've got. All pretty sort of straightforward stuff. Um, I'm not going to go into the like patch that's going on here. Uh, check out a load of my other modular pet breakdown videos if that's something you're interested in. What I am going to go into is the process of how I'd make a top line using vocal chops. Um, I'm gonna be using the squid salon pull, but these are the kind of techniques you could use, you know, with any other sampler, I think, so long as it's got the ability to sort of set cue points within the sample and skip between those. So I'm gonna load a sample. and I'm going to stick a load of extra reverb on there. The next thing I'm going to do is use the split function, just to divide that into eight chunks that I could sort of jump between if I want to. So here they are. So I'm just going to leave that on the first one whilst I sort of work out a melody. I've got the Volt per octave in the squid sample. That's coming out of one of the um, sequencer channels on the BeatStep Pro, and I'm also triggering that by, by the BeatStep Pro. I've left the tuning knob just to normal because I want to be using the Volt per octave to jump around here. The first thing I'm going to do is play the patch and just, just work out some of the notes on the BeatStep Pro that will fit over that. So let's play some of that in. Set that rec to record and make sure we've got like a four bar loop ready to go. That's something pretty basic. I'm now gonna slightly alter the sound by just putting a low pass filter on. I want that sort of muffled, distant feel. The next thing I'm gonna do is set all the velocity knobs on the sequence that I'm using to zero because I'm gonna use the velocity to skip between the different cuts in the sample. So I'm going to use the velocity out on the BeatStep Pro to select the key, the key point. This takes ages. If anybody knows a way on the BeatStep Pro to like control the velocity of all the steps at once, hit me up in the comments because I'm sick of doing this. So now that all of the velocities are set to zero, I can take the velocity out of that track and send it into one of the CV controls. 
And then when I go function cues, I can assign that CV input so that the velocity from the BeatStep Pro is used to select which slice of the sample is playing in the squid salmon pool. So that's not doing anything yet because all the velocities have just been set to zero. So what I want to do is a step where I know something's playing, so I'm going to choose 13. I'm just going to start to change some of these. So you've got to find the sweet spots. Because obviously when you change the slice, sometimes you're also changing the note. So you can see that start to come together into something that's a little bit more interesting. I might add a bit of random on the Beat Step Pro if I was locked into a key. Um, or I might sort of find other ways to affect the way that sequence is playing. But you can see how it's really interesting really quickly becoming something that's a little bit more interesting. And these are the kind of tricks that in Ableton are just so straightforward using something like the Simpler, but there's ways and means that you can do them within Modular and save yourself that screen time um, and just make your life a little bit more interesting. You know, also with modulating all of the parameters within the squid, you'll definitely end up with some things that you wouldn't think to do within Ableton. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and please sort of like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content.